Genesis says, in the beginning was the Word. We are in the arts in which we use the Word. What do you make of that passage of this great piece of writing, which is questionable in some ways because it's the Old Testament, but in the beginning was the Word. Why that phrase? But I don't think it's true. <laughs> in the beginning is the cry or the sound, but not necessarily the Word. When we come into this life, we, you know, the mewling and puking of the baby, but I mean, in the beginning, in the beginning, perhaps, of civilization, of connection, maybe, the word. Uh, but this is, this is, it's talking about a book. <laughs> so, of course, the word is going to be, right. of course, it's going to be primary. Because you're about to read a book. But in the beginning, there was breath. In the beginning, there was heartbeat in the beginning bang who knows but what's the um, the Beckett astride the grave in a difficult birth in the grave digger in the grave the grave digger puts on lingeringly puts on the forceps the air is full of our cries we have time to grow old so in the beginning was the cry the, the breath cry, the breath the cry I think, I mean, I think that's certainly what, you know, when you, you're doing voice work, that's what you're getting, that's the first thing, is the breath, you know? Even trying to unlearn all those things about fill your belly with breath, you know, when you breathe, or, you know, the, or that you hold your breath in, or you, you're holding it up here, or... Rib reserve breathing? Rib reserve, all that stuff, you know, all that stuff. Whereas if you're clear in thought, the breath will be there. We rarely run out of breath when we're talking. That was my esoteric question. Thank you very much. Well, that was your esoteric question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tennessee Williams has got a great thing too about you know why the theater. You say we're bringing, we're bringing them home. Have you read that section? Did I bring it? Oh, here. Shall I read it? Um. Oh, Jesus, I have to stop you right now. I love you dearly. You're a smart and sweet man, but you are so wrong about what matters and where the eyes should visit. The things you find so important, the attention, the prizes, the approval, yes, they matter, and never so much than when they disappear. But I'm old now, and I've walked a long and rocky road, and what really mattered, what should matter most to you, is the rare and gorgeous experience of reaching out through your work and your actions and connecting to others. A message in the bottle thrown toward another frightened, loveless queer, a confused mother, a recently dejected man who can't see his way home. We get people home. We let them know that we're here for them. This is what art can do. Art should be the arm and the shoulder and the kind eyes, all of which let others know you deserve to live and to be loved. That is what matters, baby. Bringing people home. Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams.